これ This is MG and I'm from the street. Are you buying it? No, me either. So I'm not really from the street. <laughs> Anywho, um, so this is about urban, pretty self-explanatory. Let's get started in the tutorial. Okay, for my urban look, I wanna use a brick base topper that I designed and created. And you can choose to sand your base instead if you want for a little bit different look. Since these base toppers are not resin or plastic, I can easily cut it to any shape that I want. Now I'm going to use ready to use grout right out of the bucket. It comes in different colors. As I noted in my beach tutorial, you can mix this with any color acrylic paint. It can even be cheap craft paint. I'm putting a little bit of the mixture on the side of the bricks. And now I'm going to add a nice black wash to the bricks and then a nice dark brown wash to the sanded grout. It is a good idea to wait probably a few minutes for the grout to dry a little bit. I get very impatient, so I sometimes I just put it on while it's wet. Now I'm gonna take a little bendy straw and cut out that little middle section that bends like a little accordion and paint it black. I'm gonna super glue it directly to the grout and I want my little city street to look like it's old and no city street would be complete without some sludge, right? And you didn't think you'd get away with not using nail polish, right? A mini girl, what do you expect? This stuff is actually really cool looking when you put it onto your base because it looks like sludge, crud. It's just really neat looking. And you'll definitely get people wondering how you made it. And that's what you want. You want people wondering how you made it. That's when you know you've done a good job. For my next base, I chose a different color brick base topper, a little bit lighter color, so it'll give my base a little bit different effect. I've made several designs, as you can see in the background, but the one I'm holding in my hand is my favorite. I just use regular white PVA glue to glue it down. Again, you can use anything as your street. I just prefer to use bricks for my street. I just take regular black wash. You can use ink. You can use shade. To me, that's almost one and the same. I'm adding a little bit of that grout that we made earlier, but I made it a little bit darker and I'm putting it on one side of the bricks on top of the bricks. Now I'm going to mix green ink and a little bit of triple thick because no city would be complete without some sludge, right? Some green slime sludge. After I let the grout dry for about a half hour is when I went ahead and put the sludge on. The grout does take a complete 24 hours to completely cure though, just so you know. Here's a hot tip. You can mix triple thick with any color, ink, shade, or wash to make any effect that you want. I do not recommend mixing it with regular acrylic paint, otherwise it will just be non-transparent, unless that's the look that you're going for. But that's the beauty of Triple Thick, is it gives it a nice transparency with color. These are perler beads. They make great little barrels. The black and the green are my favorite. I'm going to super glue it directly to the grout, just to make it look like it's a barrel leaking this goop. Perler beads make great looking barrels, and they're very inexpensive at your hobby store. Now if you're thinking, mini girl, Miss MG, I want something even more simple and streamlined. No problem. You can sand your base or use whatever base that you want. In this instance, again, I'm going to use brick with a little bit of wash on it. I painted some moot green in a spot, glued down one perler bead, added a little bit of super glue to the top of the moot green. You can also use art coat too if you want by Citadel. Either one works fine, just to give your goop some sheen. Once that dried, I just simply added a black wash, shade, or ink, whatever you want to use, to the top of the goop and the actual little green barrel, and I was done. Simple as that. It's very quick and easy. It's for those people that are just lazy, or they just want a very simple streamlined look. And remember, have fun creating your own. Thanks for watching guys. Keep the suggestions coming. It helps support my channel so that when I get home from work, I can create tutorials for you. 
and keep on going. So thank you. A big shout out to all my fans. You know who you are. That's right. I'm talking to you. Bye for now. See you on the next time.